Okay, here's the layout of the castle. And I guess we're right here now. And I'll take this route back down. It's interesting how this hillside appears to be totally ravaged, whether it was done intentionally that these trees are knocked over, I don't know. Although these three here, and some of those seem to be going in the same direction. Um, but there you can see a bunch of them that have partially fallen. Maybe there was a wind burst here. I'm guessing that's the old Moorish castle that we're now en route to. Okay, my first view of something to do with the Moors Castle. So this is the entrance way here. The thing is that because of its location, it gives some pretty good uh, hiding spots and protected places for the attacking force coming up this hill. I mean, it appears to someone who's never fought in his life. Now this looks very old because of the moss, but it may well be that it's been restored, don't know, and it's just covered with moss, as are the rocks. The Moors ruled for 700 years, quite benignly in one sense, they were very tolerant of Jews and Christians as long as they paid a little bit more in taxes. This area that I'm in now is the Castle Keep Tower, <clears throat> housing local authorities on one of the highest hills. It's visible from the surrounding plains and the Atlantic and is a strategic center of the fortification. The King of Norway, Sigurd I, caught sight of the keep from the sea and visited the castle in 11 or eight or nine. As I thought when the Christians took over, a tremendous amount of remodeling, restructuring took place. So probably only an archaeologist could tell you where the remnant of anything Muslim is. Most of this would be Christian. Now I'm just looking down where I came in. Now there's Pina Castle up there. So we're just panning about. There are the two towers we saw in center when we first came up from the train station. There's the ocean out there. Someone commented that it, it was King so-and-so who saw Vasco da Gama ships coming towards Lisbon. I find that a little bit difficult to imagine. Number one, how he knew we saw. We're over there, we should be able to see Lisbon, but I don't know where it would be from here. Here's the castle keep we were looking at for what it's worth. I'm just walking these walls for the fun of it. Again, it's really questionable how much of any of that we're looking at is Muslim. My guess is that what may be Moorish is at least the foundations of the walls that go around up here since it would seem silly to duplicate that. Does it look like we're looking at what is or were some of the wealthy homes of the past or present? I don't know if this is a house or not, but it's pretty color and some of its design elements caught my fancy. Just as I hit town walking down from the Muros or Moors Castle. So here's a town fountain that actually is used and gets used. All these folks have 
bottles of water they're going to fill up and take up to their homes where perhaps they don't even have drinking water. Here's a somewhat interesting building with its uh, conical tower peak in this interesting facade. Gracias. Interesting tile work on the outside of the building. This on the outside of the restaurant. All of this you could buy. There's nothing original about this, I'm sure. It's the National Palace. We'll move into that. The salads at those restaurants that serve the uh, tour bus people. And it's almost three times what it would cost in uh, Lisbon to have a salad.